Alright guys, welcome back. Let's go ahead and wrap things up with our room golem here by adding some lighting effects. I've uh, finished painting everything. I have my guy on one layer. I'm pretty happy with it. But as you can see, comparing it to the image on the right, it's not quite popping off, uh, off the stage away from the background like I want it to. So uh, let's go ahead and get him up to that point. I'll show you what I did here. Uh, a good way to check the values of your painting once you're pretty happy with it is uh, by making a new layer above everything filling it with black and changing the layer mode to saturation so this will turn your image into a grayscale painting and it's a good way to check the values and as you can see there's just not enough brights on this guy to make them pop so let's go ahead and fix that alright we'll turn that off and what we're gonna do is make a new fill or adjustment layer this little icon right here and I'm gonna use the levels and I'll overdo this for the purposes of the tutorial so you can see it. But uh, let's go ahead and just brighten everything up. As you can see, it's affecting the entire image, and we'll, I'll show you how to fix that here in a minute. Press OK. And in this mode, what we have is uh, you'll only be able to paint in black and white. And I'll click the mask here, and painting white will reveal the effect, and painting in black will conceal the effect. So I'm going to actually fill it all in with black, just so you can see it. And when you paint in white, it'll reveal the effect of that level, it's making things brighter. And this is just a rough way I'm showing you this really quick, just so you can kind of see it. But there's a better way to control this, and I'll show you that right now. So that's just to show you the effect of the mask. Right, let's fill that back in with black. Alright, so I only want this to affect my character, not the background. What you do here is you, since I have my painting on one layer, the whole guy, go back up here, I'm going to control click, hold down control and click in the area of, of that layer. It's going to make a selection of just that character. Now I'm on here with my layer mask, and now I can just fill that with white and it'll only show on my character. Now, still not quite what I want. I'll show you another trick, no big deal. We can use the gradient tool. With the gradient tool, my character still selected. I'm just gonna make this, all right, still got some darkness down here, that's pretty cool. And just kinda play with this until you like it. You can use radial effect, whatever. And this is only affecting my character. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and deselect that, my selection. And what I'll do now is go in and really start refining the areas that I want to be revealed and concealed. So it's just another way of. Now I'm going to paint black here and it's going to go back in and just darken in these areas but I still have that nice little lighting effect from my adjustment layer. And you can lightly blend this in and just switch them back and forth from the black and the white and you're not worried about screwing up your painting. And that's a pretty neat trick about it is that you don't have to erase just black to conceal and white to reveal. And I'm using a, you know, I did this a little bit more carefully when I finally did it, but I just want to show you this, how it works. And you can just get that final lighting effect that you want. So if we want to check it, just turn it off, turn it on. So in different areas, we can just go back in and just darken it up. And like I said, I'm overdoing it just so you can see the effect, but it's a pretty neat trick. And you work on that for a bit and to the point where you're pretty happy. And then what I'll do is above that layer is I'll just start adding in some 
rim lighting on our guy. And I just use the uh, basic airbrush that's in Photoshop. I'll make a new layer above my levels. Let's take this green and actually make it a very bright yellow green. And I'm just going to go over the edges. Kind of do this pretty big and pretty bright so you can see it. And I'll show you here on the final image. Just roughly just adding in the rim lighting over the top of this guy. And since I've pretty much done all the work on my character that I'm pretty happy with, back here we got a little blue, is that uh, this is just pretty neat to experiment with. And, you know, if you screw up on this point at this point obviously you just delete it and try it again that gives us a nice little room effect and then as far as some of the rooms just add just a little bit of just add the airbrush and, I'm, and this is exactly how I did it really rough just kind of like sparkling up some of that light's going to hit some of down here whatever Hit some of the edges on there. Put some light around his eyes. Hit the bottom of that. And I like to save all the highlights and lighting for last. It's kind of fun. And it's kind of like a uh, kind of reward for finishing everything up. So that's how I got to this point. So as you can see here. Let's turn my levels on and off. And you can kind of see what's going on. And you can always go in on that adjustment layer and you can adjust the levels again by clicking on, you see the little icon here, the levels. And if you want it a little bit brighter, you can. And a darker. And you can just keep playing with it until it gets to the point where you like it. So, a nice, neat trick. And I recently learned, so uh, pretty fun. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, once again, like I said, um, click the like button if you like it. Uh, it does help out a lot. If you don't, click don't like and um, tell me why, what I missed, and what I can go over and uh, make some better tutorials in the future. So um, like I said, I hope you, you, found, you guys found this uh, really helpful, and um, I want you guys to uh, get painting, you know, put down the video game, put down the phone with tweeting, Facebook or whatever, and get to painting. I want you guys to be a hundred times better than I am. So, um, like I said, hopefully this is helpful to you, and um, I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Thanks.